Okay, so today's episode is going to be an episode on ThinManager 5.0 install. Now, for this, what you're going to do is you're going to place your CD in your CD-ROM drive. And what you should see is an actual icon that appears in your CD-ROM drive that looks similar to this. What you're going to do is you're going to click on that, open it up. Now, once this opens up, you should see a number of different folders and other files. What we're going to do is then go to click on Thin Manager 5.0. After you do that, now you'll see down there a setup folder or the application one. Double click on it. Now, give it a minute. It's going to actually launch. Once it does that, you may actually be prompted to actually load the uh, C++ uh, install. Go ahead and do that if it asks for that. Otherwise, you may already have it installed and it may not ask for that at all. Once this is actually completed, what you're going to do is you'll actually see the actual Thin Manager window pop up for you. Once that comes up, then you'll actually uh, be able to click on Next and continue to move them forward as the install continues. Click Next. Then this is all the legalese. Just go through that and look through it if you need to. Click on Yes. Now you'll notice here I'm going to be installing Thin Manager 64-bit version. If I wanted to actually install the 32-bit version, I would select the ones up at the very top. That is the one that says Thin Manager and Thin Manager Ser uh, Thin Server Install. Now, if I have a username and password that I would like to associate with this installation, we can easily put that in there. But for right now, we're going to leave that blank. Now you're going to notice the install bar is moving from left to right. Once this actually completes, you'll actually get one more screen that pops up that actually says that you are now complete and finished. So we're just going to give this a second to finish up. All right, that's it. We've now completed an actual installation of Thin Manager 5.0.